Today, we're looking at something different. I've been interested in Fujifilm cameras for a long time, for its film simulations, and this is actually my first Fujifilm camera. Actually, I had the GFX 102 for one day and I decided to return it because of the cost. And I just don't find a scenario that I would use it. And I was seriously considering uh, X100V, but the markups even for used units was just unbelievable. When they announced X106, after looking at the specs and the previews, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pre-order this. Originally, I put on an order for the limited edition, uh, but two days later, I got an email saying that uh, the shop has reached their allocated quota, so I had to switch to a regular model. And for $400 more, you get these. It's up to you to decide whether it's worth it or not. It's also my first time owning a point and shoot camera. And I can see why people say it's pocketable. Although it weighs like half a brick, but uh, it's way smaller than my full frame, for sure. And its form factor is um, pretty much similar to my first ever digital camera, the Sony A6100, which I appreciate a lot with the uh, improved autofocus, the in-body stabilization, and building ND filter. These are all bonuses. After shooting with Sony, Nikon, Panasonic, I have to say I'm very excited to experience the famous Fujifilm simulation. With the unboxing done, um, let me share with you some of the accessories that I bought for the camera. Since I got everything from Amazon, so I'll just put down uh, the links in the description for your easy reference. First up, screen protector. This is just a random brand I found on Amazon with a good rating. I feel like they're all the same. Since X106 uses exact same screen with X100V, uh, you can just simply search for X100V screen protector and just choose the one you like the most. Either it's most units sold or uh, best rating or best looking packaging, <laughs> you know, it's up to you. Again, they all look the same and feel the same, honestly. And they usually come in more than one, which is good for multiple tries um, until you get the uh, perfect, perfect installation. No air bubbles or dust trapped underneath. You know, practice makes perfect, right? Next up, shutter release buttons. The first one I got off Amazon again is a random brand. I just like the color, the golden color. And honestly, I don't know how much of help it brings, other than the uh, aesthetic. I admit it does bring some uh, personality to your camera. And for Fujifilm users, tell me what this rubber ring is for. I assume it acts like a damper, but it's really hard to install the button with that uh, rubber ring. Or is it for weather sealing? I don't know, you tell me. It looks good, but it feels like a little bit on the cheaper side. And because of that, I went to buy a second one. And it seems the brand JJC is pretty big on Fujifilm cameras, at least for X100V and X106. I really like these buttons. Uh, they come in the color that I like. And the build quality is a bit better than the last one I showed. But again, with the rubber ring, it's hard to put it on. So I just decided to install it without the rubber ring. Now it looks like business. And here's the black version of it. I personally like the red button better, so I'll keep the red one on there. Now the thumb grip. And it's interchangeable between X106 and X100V. I feel like this accessory is the most popular among the uh, point-and-shoot camera users. 
such as the uh, Fujifilm X series or the Leica Q series. Personally, because of the size of my hand, I'd prefer the L bracket or just a cage to have a better grip with added functions. All right, filter time. In order to use filters on X106, you need adapter ring. And this adapter ring is from JJC again. It's a direct copy of the Fujifilm's ARX100 adapter ring for a much cheaper price. It was designed to use a lens hood, so it is a little bit thicker. And for the filter, I went with Tiffin's Quarter Strands Black Mist. This is the brand I used the most. And this video is shot on a S5 II with a Tiffin Quarter Strands Black Mist filter. And with the adapter ring, X106 can use 49mm filters. And this is the smallest filter everybody makes, so it's pretty cheap, which is a plus. But now the problem is, with the adapter ring and the filter, I cannot use the OEM cap anymore. It just simply doesn't fit now. So to fix that, solution number one is to just get a 49mm lens cap, like this, and put it on. But the downside, it feels really plasticky and cheap. So solution number two is KNF Concept 49mm Magnetic Quarter Strength Black Mist Filter Kit. I went with a magnetic filter kit just for the ease of uh, swapping filters on the go. Because other than the adapter ring came with the kit, which you need to screw on to the other adapter ring, <laughs> um, both the filter and the um, lens cap are magnetic. So you can easily take them off or put them on. And also, it doesn't matter the brand, the design of the magnetic filter kit is usually pretty modern. If you are a uh, retro style lover, like the most of uh, the Fujifilm users are, it kind of breaks the uh, aesthetics a little bit. At the same time, it does bring a high level of convenience for filter swapping. And for the size difference of the two solutions, um, you, you can see here, it's pretty much the same. And now it comes to the difference between the two filters. At least to my eyes, I can't tell the difference. And here are two sample images with two different filters and you guys can see for yourself. I would like to use the pick design straps on this camera, so I need strap rings. I really like the A7S III spring ring design which eliminates the rattling noise from the rings when you're on the move. So I DIY some out of these guys. But I really don't like the feelings of the strap going through my fingers, so I guess I'll just wait for the L bracket or the cage for this camera. I'm a big fan of Sling Camera Bag for the style and convenience it brings. And I just want a small Sling Bag that's big enough for X106 and can carry my other belongings, like a couple backup batteries, some SD card, and my wallet. And this VSGO Professional Photography Sling Bag seems like a perfect fit. With the utilitarian design and the stealthy black color, it checks all the boxes. All right, next step is just charge the battery, set up the cameras the way I like it, and go out and shoot. Before I let you go, let me show you some of the pictures that I took with the new X106. And if you have any other recommendations on useful accessories, do leave a comment and let me know. Before I wrap up this video, just allow me to say thank you for everybody who supported me and this channel. This is like a secret hideout for me, especially when my life is going through a rough patch. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.